Hi guys, Ada here and today is day 20 on the Whole30 and if you've watched my video before that I posted you know that yesterday didn't go so well. Today is doing much better but I'm um, feeling really really shitty. It's kind of amazing to me how your body uh, reacts to things that are you know not good for you. I'm having headaches, I feel a lot of fatigue, and it's just from that one, you know, slip up that I had. Um, so what am I doing? Tomorrow I'm starting a new fitness program as far as working out. I had injured my knee, but I think I'm finally, I would say, better enough to start getting back into physical exercise. It's been a little over a week, and so I, I really need to get back into it. Um, <clears throat> That being said, we're back on the Whole30, 100%. I told you guys that I was making this a lifestyle change, and I am. It's something that we want to do forever. doesn't mean that we're not going to have cheat days and slip-ups and things like that. Um, it just means that for at least 90% of the time, this will be how we're eating. Um, and I don't want, you know, people to take my last video that says, oh man, I fucked up, into meeting that you're not allowed to have a cheat day. That's not what I meant. The whole 30 is supposed to be 30 days of this eating. Um, and so by fucking up, I meant that I slipped up within the 30 days. Um, when you're going through life, it's okay to live by the 80-20 rule, meaning 80% of the time you do what you're supposed to do, you eat right, you eat clean, you work out, and then 20% of the time you have a little fun. And I think that's okay. I messed up in the sense of I was trying for 30 days of no slip-ups, of, of eating on this program, and I didn't make it. And that's okay, because now, today, after feeling how I feel laying in bed much longer than I have in a long time, i am realized, okay, yes, I am doing the right thing by staying on this plan. I am doing the right thing by getting this stuff out of my pantry, out of my body. And overall, it's made me feel really good. And I forgot to post this, but Almost immediately after uh, me cheating, my stomach was just like this round, it almost looked pregnant. It was crazy how quickly that affected my body. So if that happens again in the future, which I hope it doesn't, if it happens again in the future, I'm going to take a picture so you can see how rapidly your body responds to those things. So <laughs> taking it a new day here, um, new perspective, and just really trying to push through the next 10 days and I have a feeling that I'm gonna be just fine so if you have any questions uh, or anything like that just feel free to reach out to me don't forget to subscribe if you like my videos down below and I'm here if you need moral support or someone to do this with and just know that if you messed up or if you mess up it's okay keep pushing forward and just remember that you're human and that things like that happen. So, all right guys, gotta go, but see you tomorrow. Bye.